it is garbage day here at paper and moose hello if you are new to the channel my name is renee and i am the curator of the channel i like to go to auctions estate sales flea markets and find vintage and ephemera paper items and when i'm not doing that i also like to trash pick garbage pick curbside treasure pick whatever you may call it that's what i'm going to be doing today i'm off to a town where it usually is a miss for me hit or miss more miss than hits but hey you don't know unless you get out there and see what you can find so let's get there get my gloves on and get to some trash pick garbage 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 do you see what i see i see some old songs oh there's paper that's all metal what are these Easton Parkland Christmas City relays these are nice that's all metal I think we'll have to pick that up for you know who I'm gonna take these first and then I'll come back for that metal some saws can be worth a decent amount of money, others not worth anything. I'm not sure what these are worth. I guess with everyone being inside, they have time to kind of look for things. Look at this cute, cute little guy. This needs to be reupholstered. I'm good to go. We shall take you. I do like that yellow on the seat. Oh, there's a squirrel. If you can see him, there's a nemesis. He's taking scrap. Oh well. He looks like. Mm, I might have to come back through that pile. I don't know what he's gonna take. Good luck, Mr. Scrapper. This was the pile that that guy just left. Oh, a chicken. Oh, it's broken. So. I'm not sure what he took. Obviously, maybe he wasn't into metal because he left this here and that other piece here. So, a lot of this does not look like it's anything usable. Christmas. So, broken mirror. Bad luck. That's actual garbage, garbage. Oh my gosh, do you see what I see? <laughs> Is that a plum? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I am so excited, look at this. It's styrofoam, but who cares? Oh my gosh, what a winner. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. This is magical. Oh my gosh, this might be my best find. What's in there? This is amazing. What's in here? Oh, there's trophies. Oh, t-shirts. Oh, duffel bags. I gotta take this whole box. I gotta get my car. I had to park up a little further, but we're just gonna take that whole box. What's in here? Jewelry? There's jewelry in there. That's looked like a tarp. All right, let's get this guy first and then I'll grab the rest. This is ridiculous. I'm so excited. So that is wrapping paper. Is it vintage? No. But this has a whole bunch of stuff in it. So I'm just gonna take the whole box and then look through it at home. And see what's in there instead of doing it here. Today was probably my best trash picking day of the year. And most of it came from one house. I was so excited. 
If you haven't seen one of my videos before, if you hear me say in the video, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, over and over again, it is because that is when I am so excited because I have found something vintage that I love, and that was this guy. So I hit a few homes. Some were better than others. The rolling pin and the, the casters, the wheels, I'm not gonna bother to show them. I did pick them up and those will go to the flea market. Those were good finds, but nothing compared to this. So yes, a lot of my treasures came from one home, but there was the spot that had the saw and some of the other items. I'm gonna take those out, we'll go through, because I spotted something in the milk crate that I didn't notice at first. So gotta get my gloves on and we'll get in there and we'll see what we have. <laughs> Let's move Mr. Santa up there. I picked up this cute little chair. It is metal. I don't think it's old, old, but let's move this out of the way. But still really cute. It just needs to be redone. Um, this looks like it's breaking a little bit, but seems a little uneven but really cute project you just have to pop this off you can even put a nice comfy cushion rather than this wooden cushion on there and not even have to paint the metal so this is definitely a nice flea market piece and someone would would buy this in an instant I think should I keep it mm, we should probably sell it <laughs> all right so we'll put that aside so there was the home, it had the saws. Some saws do better than others. It just depends on the brand. I'd have to see. This one is pretty, oh, the handle's broken. There used to be that fad where you would paint a scene on the saw, I see saw, paint a scene on the saw. I don't know if it is still, I don't think people still do that anyway. But again, flea market items, easy sellers, hopefully as long as I don't cut myself on them in the meantime all right so we have the milk crate of metal these bags have chain oh, chain links in them but I like the bag storm king tire chains group 12 I think the bag could easily be washed and what will I do with it? I don't know, but I just like the bag. So we have that bag, this one. Another type of advertising, more tire chain bags. Oof, we have some feathers on there. Um, and there's more tire chains. Nicholson brush. This is the interesting part. And there's this thing. Drill. January 1974. So these are knives. I didn't realize they were when I picked them up. And smart move on the homeowner wrapping them up. The one, there are two, oh, except for that one. Um, I'm not gonna take them all apart right now, but I just noticed this one has a nice handle I don't know if it would be, um, I don't think it's Bakelite, but it, it reminds you of the staghorn kind of handle. And then I noticed this one that looks like it might be a little bit older. So I will take, I will cut this and then look at them a little bit closer just to see if any, that one's interesting, um, you know, might be worth some money. There are money in knives. People, they stick with a set for their whole life or they like a certain brand so but I'm definitely going to check that one out so there's that and then there was the magnificent house <laughs> with the vintage Christmas I first saw the wrapping paper and of course naturally I park a mile away because that's just what I do and then when I was walking up is when I saw this guy first I thought he was a blow mold Santa face but he's not he is styrofoam but my new best friend, he is lovely. I will be keeping him for a time period. 
maybe forever, who knows? I mean, when you find something like this free in the garbage, I think, you know, why shouldn't you keep it? So we picked up him. I want to make sure he does not get damaged, so I'll put him down here. The other box, the bon Bombay Company box, it does have Christmas in it. I finally found vintage Christmas in the garbage. So we do have, I did take a, a sneak peek in here. These are Raggedy Ann and Andy Christmas balls. They're marked Bob's Merrill Company, 1975. So there are three in here. So we have another box that has um, their two nativity scenes in here and then another Raggedy Ann and Andy. Then we have some other lovely Christmas balls with this. Baked beans. Um, that's nothing. So this one, glass ornaments, American made. And then I like, oh, these are two older ones that are in there. They're broken, it looks like. I really like the box on this. Tree ornaments. Hardware store, Great Eastern Hardware, 88 cents. So we have some red and gold. Boxes like these are great to use in your decor for Christmas. You can stack them up, put them on a shelf, put them even under the tree. They look really good. So that was all for this box. Still a great find. Uh, these will go to the flea market. I think this box might go to the flea market as well. I do have a plethora of vintage boxes, so I'll just have to see if that fits in. Now, move that over. Oh, Coleman Lantern. Plastic bag. Let's see, let me move these ornaments out of the way. So yes, a nice Coleman lantern, still with the original box. This, what's this? Oh, silk light mantles. Oh, there's even more. Those are cute. <laughs> I, I know a lot of people love Coleman, and this will most likely be a flea market item unless it goes for a decent amount of money on eBay. It would be really easy to ship since it's in a box already, just put it in another box. I don't have a need for a lantern, so I won't be keeping that, but great find. Then, there was a bag of jewelry. Now, I hate to disappoint, but I'm not gonna be opening this in this video. That will be the next video, because opening this, this bag of jewelry with this box of goodness, it would probably take way too long, so, I'm going to wait. However, let me just go in and grab there's an assortment. Maybe there's some silver. Maybe there's some gold. It smells like soap. Ooh, that's a neat ring. I mean, it's fake, but it's so cute. This bracelet. All right, so you will have to stay tuned for the next video. It smells perfumish for this because we have this big box to get through. There were bowling trophies, look like older kind of tote gym bags and some shirts. I just took the whole box. There wasn't the other smaller box that had pots and pans and some other glassware in it or coffee mugs. I left that there because I did quick take a peek in there. So let me get the camera situated so we all can look in this box together and see what's in here. All right, so I think this will be good. You can't see me, but I don't know if that's really necessary. All right. Wonders of VHS tape that is unmarked. There's a few of those in here. It's not a lot of tape on that. I did see bowling trophies. What's this? American Eagle Outfitters. This is vintage or older, definitely older, because I don't think their label is like that anymore. Look at this. Look at that. 
I will have to look that up. Oh man, this brings back like seventh grade memories, anxiety. Whew. Yes, I think I did have a vest like this when I was in like seventh grade. Don't judge. Ooh, what's this? Is this a flag, a scarf? There is a name. Mm, let's get it right. Anne Terrell. You can see that. Has flowers and leaves on it. Again, some of these I will have to look up. Here's an oh man, another vest. They love these. It's just the anxiety brand. Now this is wrapper. Wrapper USA. This looks like more like a, a, a man's for a prom, maybe. Those are nice buttons. Oh, we see this guy. California Raisins. They had a good claymation show. That's garbage. Dartmouth. This is not your cup. Oh, what's inside? Oh, a piece of glass. This guy. <laughs> a soccer ball for St. Patrick's Day, perhaps. There is a, oh, that, that's where the broken thing came from. Oh, this is all broken. So we will leave this. Shorebrow Munich from a Munich Hall. I wonder if that's older. That might be a look-see to look that up. All right. 1987. These used to be worth, not worth some money, but if you could take these off, People like to use them in different types of decor. So we have soccer. Why did I think it was bowling? I thought it was bowling. Oh, geez. Here. Oh, no. Soccer again. First place. These were metal. Here's a little basketball. Dover basketball. That's actually kind of cute. Let me move these aside. It's another fine marble base and made in Italy. Soccer tournament again. Freedom is not free. The American Veterans Disabled Life Memorial. That guy up here, a Reebok shirt made in Thailand. Vintage, I have no idea. Reebok collared shirt. The Freshman Book, 1996 for Dartmouth. Smile, you guys, you're on YouTube. Oh, this is the tote. Oh, an Adidas. This might be good. <laughs> an Adidas tote bag. White River Junction, Vermont. That's the destination. So we have definitely a vintage Adidas tote bag. It is in rough shape. Let's just check everything. Columbia Invitational. The person's name is on here. You know, I don't know the story why they threw all this stuff out. It looks like it was definitely a clean out. There's the person. We're just gonna hide them. But you know, it's out for trash for one reason or another. Perhaps they were moving and they thought, just get rid of it. I think these are for um, the grill, meat, a cat, Erica, Finland, I think. That's actually kind of cute. I miss my porch kitty. For those that aren't familiar, I did have a porch cat that used to come around, Honor Award. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why people throw these things out. You know, you can't. You can't account for it because you don't know. The only thing is you can save it from the trash. Oh boy, more vintage. I don't even know. Kind of reminds me of like Animal Kingdom from the Disney, from Walt Disney World, but I don't think so. There's no maker, maker's mark. There's no label. 
another vest. They sure like these vests. Buyer California. Oh, that brings back memories. I may have had this outfit. I'm not gonna kid. I think there were pants that went with this and I may have had it. Ooh, another, oh geez. Another Adidas bag. Ooh, a penny. Making, making money in the trash. I'll have to look through these to make sure there aren't any other monies. So another Adidas bag. Traveled a lot. Sounds like there might be more money in there. What's this guy? This one's Forenza. That Flor that's not Florence, because it would be Forenzi for Florence. Oh geez. Land's End. I don't know if there's a market for Land's End old bags, but we have one of those. Oh, there's a box cutter in there. Umbro. Oh my gosh. Umbro. I only had one pair of Umbro shorts. They were hot pink and they were my cousin's. And she gave them to me. And I absolutely love them. We have Umbro. Oh, we have a Care Bear. Little Care Bear. That one's cute. What's this videotape? Us versus U Penn. Us versus Boston College. There was a box cutter. State selection. Soccer. Us versus Columbia versus Yale. And Dartmouth College Instructional Service. Freshman Parents Weekend. 58 Minutes in Color. 1996. I thought there was a box cutter. Stanley. Got a new blade. Good to go. And there's a messed up. Oh, there's a broken cup. Oh, what's back there? Oh, this is for a kitten. They liked cats <laughs> and played soccer. Wendell August Forge. Grove City, Pennsylvania. You can see that. Maybe. And then this. Oh, this is from Williamsburg, Virginia. I thought maybe this one on the top of the beer stein, but it doesn't. This is probably pewter. And there's a broken glass back there. So let's see the cassette tapes. Oh, I already see one. In excess. Kick. I wish, I used to have a Beatle. I still have it, my mom has it. And um, mixtapes. And it had um, a cassette tape wire. Tonight, Showban Dixie, Run DMC. Ah, oh, it's empty. Center Stage Recording Studio, live. Was, not was, walk, oh, walk the dinosaur. Open the door, get on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. <laughs> oh, that was great. Oh my gosh. The Beatles. Kids these days don't know about recording on a cassette player. Those were the days. So yeah, that looks like it's about it for this box, but... So that's it for this box. Be sure to stay tuned for when I look through the jewelry, whether or not there's going to be anything great in there. I don't know, but it will probably still be fun. This has some interesting finds. I will have to look up that American Eagle sweater vest. I have no idea if it's worth anything. It's definitely older. It's not new. <laughs> um, we have the bowling trophies, some cassette tapes, Care Bears and the Adidas bags. They are worn, but people do like to use the vintage bag, so we'll see, but great Christmas items, a Coleman lantern, and some other really, really neat, good finds today. So it was a great day for trash picking, and I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I would love it if every trash pick could be this exciting, but 
you know, they all can't be winners, but I wish they could be. But anyway, <laughs> thanks again for watching. Be sure to stay tuned to look for the jewelry video when I go through that jewelry bag and we'll go through it together and see what we can find. So hope you liked this video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button, like button, thumbs up, leave a comment if you have any suggestions as to what some of these items could be worth and what was your favorite find and be sure to also subscribe to the channel so you will be notified when I do that jewelry video. So thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day and see you all next time.